So today I'm taking you along on a hunt that happened back on October 10th this past season. So this spot, I've kind of been putting a lot of time in there the past couple years just scouting and trying to find some good areas that I could possibly take a buck out of. So my goal has always been to take a buck using a kayak for access. So this spot sets up just perfect for it. I've located two or three really good areas that are really good access with the kayak. So the goal on this hunt was to go check those spots out, do a little bit of in-season scouting, and then just set up on the best sign that I could find. So I go in early about noon to give myself plenty of time to find a, an area that has some sign in it and to set up. So come along on this hunt. It's got some twists and turns in it and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. This year there ain't nothing in here. They just let all this stuff go. Last year there was a ton of deers on them here. There is a good bit of clover in here, but that's really about it. So I'm gonna walk up here a little ways, see what I see. I can already tell that the uh, this spot probably isn't going to be as good as it was last year. I jokingly sent a message to Grant and said, hopefully this uh, top field will be planted in brassicas. Not thinking that it would be. And I come up here and I'll be darned if it's not planted in brassicas. It is full of turnips and radishes. Check this out. So I'm not going to piddle around here anymore. I'm going to go back to the kayak gear up and get my butt back up here and set up there's not very many trees to set up on on this edge but i'm gonna make something work all right guys well i feel like luck is on my side this afternoon i'm excited i'm real excited you know this is public land anybody could hunt this you know and I'm basically hunting over an unpressured food plot because there's been nobody in here. Sometimes putting the work in is worth it. You know, you find cool places to hunt. Even on public land, it just takes a little bit of effort. But I'm really excited. It's still early, early in the afternoon. I've got a long sit, but uh, hopefully it pays off with my first public land buck using the kayak for access. That's my goal this year on this place. So with plenty of light left, I had a couple mature does come out into the field and they fed right past me. The thermals were doing exactly what I wanted them to. They were falling down a ditch that went back behind me basically 
and these deer had no clue that I was there. And as I'm watching these mature does feed past me, I look up in the corner of the field and I see a buck coming. At this point, everything is working just perfect. If he does the same thing that the does did, he's going to feed right past me and give me a 20 yard shot. So at this point, the does have fed past me. The buck is under 20 yards, and all I needed him to do is feed out past this tree that is in front of me. So I'm sitting there, bow in my hand, ready to go, when I hear deer behind me running, and that's when the hunt went south.
it was still fairly early when the deer spooked out of there so before dark a bunch of them actually came back out there was four or five other bucks that came out on the other end of the field they were all year and a half old bucks so I decided just to wait until after dark and sneak out of there and a couple days later I ended up coming back to the same spot on a similar wind and had almost the same exact thing happen all the does come out and fed past me I had a buck come out and before he could get in range and me get a shot, something spooked him and the opportunity was taken from me yet again. So I've been hunting this spot two years now. I'm still trying to get that first kayak buck and maybe 2020 will finally be my year. But this is a really cool hunt. Just goes to show that with a little bit of work, you know, you can hunt a field edge on public land and basically have the same experience that you would on private land. So. You know, get out there, explore a little bit, um, you know, find these spots for yourself. You know, anybody can get out there and, and, and find your own little honey hole. You know, this is, this, this spots, I've seen deer every single time I've been in there and I've had opportunities to kill deer every time I've been in there. So, you know, public land, it's not all bad. So get out there, you know, find your own spots and, um, you know, just have fun with it. It's a ton of fun.